Hey everyone, Greg here, and today I'm going to show you two quick ways you can speed up your website by um, enabling caching and also the compressing the gzip file for your website. So right now I'm in Google Chrome. I'm going to do a hard uh, refresh on my website, see how long it actually takes to load. Um, so I'm curious, Chrome is my most visited browser in terms of people coming to my site. So I can see here um, on the bottom about 3.48 seconds. And the DOM content loaded, that's actually the more important number because that means that that's how people can first interact with your website. Um, so that's 1.72, which is good, but it's still not great. So I confirmed this with GT Metrics. It's a free tool and similar 3.7 seconds. Again, it's using Chrome as its browser. So a couple things here. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see this a little bit easier. Leverage browser caching was the first recommendation in terms of how I can speed up my site and also g enable gzip compression. So I saw this and I thought, let me just record a video about what to do. So I already have it here within my notepad. Here is the gzip file. Here is the caching. So first I'm going to take all this right here. I'm going to put it right into my HT axis file. So I'm going to make this space. And then I'm going to add in the compression file right here. Oops. This file. Expires caching. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to just get rid of this one space. Hit save changes. So now it, um, my htx file now has the enable compression and it has the uh, gzip file so let's just confirm if it's any faster now so I'm going to type in uh, gt metrics and we're going to put my site back into this section here so while that's loading real quick again the numbers we're trying to compete against are 87 69 3.7, 2.95, and 69 requests. So let's go back here. So 87, 69, 2.8. So we improved it by almost a, a full second. So I think it's going to be hard to see if you guys see this. Let me just make this its own screen right here real quick. And then I'm going to put this on the side. And now you guys can see that just enabling that compression right there, and also the uh, the caching, I improved the load time by pretty much one second, uh, just by doing just those simple things. So thank you for watching this video, and hopefully this helps with your website.